Welcome boys and girls, we're looking at my MR2 SW20 with a 2GR FE swap and I'm going to show you a DIY do-it-yourself solution for the AC idle up problem. The AC idle up problem, I'm going to illustrate it right now, we've got the engine idling with the AC off, see the RPM is about 770 or so RPM, now I'm going to go turn the AC on. I've turned the AC on and the RPMs take a little drop and then they're going to stabilize gradually at about 650, 660 RPM. This drop happens because the ECU is not aware that the AC is on and it is not able to make any correction for it as it would in a stock OEM configuration. Um, so most of the time this is not a problem but there are some situations that have been reported from some other 2GR swappers where this has actually been a problem where the AC, the idle drops too low with the AC on. So I'm going to show you a way today that this can be fixed and what this involves is a VSV valve. A VSV valve uh, that is used in the EVAP systems of most Toyotas you can find this in any junkyards. Okay, this DSV valve has an in and an out, and when it's powered, okay, with 12 volts, it opens to allow flow through. The rest of the time is closed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tee this VSV valve off of my car's EVAP VSV that is in place right here and feeds into the throttle body. And I'm gonna show you how that works first I'm going to turn the engine off for a minute in order to install this. Okay, so to put this in place, I'm going to take a little piece of hose with a T. I'm going to disconnect this hose off of the throttle body. Take it right off. Put this onto the T. Clamp it on. Feed this into the throttle body nipple okay and it's pretty secure now I'm going to take this VSV I'm going to put it into the other branch of the T also going to make sure it's nice and tight pretty secure I'm going to sit this here so you can see it I've got a little 12 volt battery so I'm going to hook up one of the terminals for now circuit is open and I can close the circuit just by touching this little alligator clip to the terminal. So let's go turn the car back on. Okay, AC is on and we're going to see our idle stabilize uh, it's idling well it's going to stabilize about 650 whatever 640 650 that's what it usually does now i'm going to trigger the vsv so i've opened the vsv you can hear the air being sucked into this port and we're going to see the idle RPM rise slowly, okay, it should rise to uh, a little bit higher than this, anyway it will stabilize eventually at about 710, 720 if we wait for it long enough. Um, okay now if I close it Okay, so it's still rising, then if I close it, boom, the idle drops back down again. Alright, now, if I reopen the VSV, reopen the VSV, and the RPM speed 
is going to rise again. Now this is limited by a couple of little things, the size and length of the hoses and the size and uh, of the fittings that I'm using. Okay, so this could be made to flow even higher just by uh, using a little bit better hose, a little bit better fitting, or a little bit wider hose, a little bit wider fitting. And it can be connected in any number of places. For example, some of the cars have an unused nipple right here, unused vacuum nipple, that probably would flow more air and would allow you to raise the idle even further by flowing more air. Okay, so some other practical considerations is that you would want this to be enabled only at low RPM, say below 1000 RPM, which corresponds to idle. You would not want this to be enabled while you're driving around at a more higher RPM. So how you would do that is you take an RPM switch of the kind that are very commonly used with uh, you know, all kinds of builds, usually non-EFI builds, carbureted builds, the guys have to use some kind of RPM switch to control their stuff. And uh, these uh, RPM switches are available very cheap when people discard them. You can get one for about 20 or 30 bucks. Put it in line with your VSV. Now this VSV, you would wire it to the AC control relay, AC clutch relay. So it would be uh, hanging off of the AC clutch line and when you power the AC clutch at idle below 1000 RPM, it would open the VSV and it would raise your idle up by whatever predetermined amount that you can set it at, you know, by adjusting your hoses and your fittings. So I hope this helps and uh, that's it for another video.